What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, Dan Doyle Commentary, playing uh, Possibility, playing my blue jeans once again. I didn't go over Possibility's rating. I think it's in the 1400s or something like that. Anyways, I open Hair, MST, Valor, Tinky, Decree, Vanny's Emptiness. Obviously, we automatically want to get to our Yamato. These are the hands, again, I think I had one of these hands against Girgia. This is one of the hands where you basically can't lose with Bujins. And I, I still don't understand why people don't play Decree in Bujins. Like, it doesn't make any sense. It just gives you so many auto wins. You see that if he tries to special summon, I can Vanny's Emptiness him. And then if he tries to go back row crazy, I can just flip over Decree and I can special summon all I want. So, uh, during my end phase, I had Crane by ditching Hair. I actually thought about getting Mikazuki just because he really can't special summon because I've got Vanny's Emptiness. I can Veil or whatever he tries to summon out. And I was like, all right, well, I'll go for the safe play and get Crane. He summons Firefist Gorilla. And I was like, please, please, please activate Tenki so I can get rid of this MST. <clears throat> and then he just kind of thinks. And then he sets one. He sets two. He sets three. And I'm like, okay, well, the obvious play is just to decree you. Um, I top deck Turtle, and I'm going to summon Turtle. And then I go into attack mode. Now, in case he had Lance, I'm going to attack with Yamato first because if he lances me, I can crane him. And if uh, he would have lanced the hair, I would excuse me, the turtle, he would have been able to, you know, activate his effects and all that other stupid shit. So I attack in that order. And then I thought about it here and I was like, wait, he only has two cards in hand. Why should I even exceed? Like, let's say he has Book of Moon, which I don't even think he has. You know, I'm going to keep two monsters on board because he even even the 1700 turtle firefish struggles to get off board. You know what I mean? So I'm like, all right, I, there's no reason for me to even go into the sun oil. So you see he summons another gorilla, and that's when I knew it was bad. And um, I knew his hand was just bad when he did that. And then he played Soul Charge for one, and I was like, yeah, he's he must have a really, really bad hand. And uh, you see I'm getting my Veiler ready because I know he's going to try and Exiton Knight me. So there's a reason why I play three Veilers. Exiton Knight is one of the few cards where, you know, you play Veilers just for that one specific card because if I Veiler it, he really can't win. Now I would go into Sasano O. And if he veiled, if he nuked the field, I'd be like, okay, that's fine. I have Sasonowo and I'm protected. So you see, I immediately take out my Vanny's Emptiness for two Fairy Winds. Um, we're going to bring in Dark Hole also. People keep asking me uh, what my deck is. And I'm like, my deck's really not that extravagant. I mean, you're actually seeing it right here and now. And it's not anything special. It's just, you know, I found out about Decree Bujin. And I felt like that was a deck to never give up on. I don't think running a whole bunch of traps in your main deck helps you win at all. All it does is it makes you more susceptible to back row. And, I mean, they just, they don't really help you win the game. All right, so you see I open with Mika, Crane, Turtle, Honest, and Yamato. This isn't a great hand, so um, as long as he doesn't open with, like, Bear, I'm good. Now, when he opened with Wolfberg, I was like, man, this dude is opening really bad. He sets five, and I'm like, all right, I'm cool with that, so... My Yamato is completely expendable because uh, he has five back row. We're trying to eat the back row up. Um, it falls in the bottom list, mainly because I had the Dark Hole. I'm like, all right, if he even if he lances it, he doesn't have any way to use his effect. So we're just going to Dark Hole. And that's why the Yamato was expendable. Like, I was hoping he'd use Warning on it, to be honest. <clears throat> he just passed his turn. I'm not going to summon Mikazuki. I'm going to summon Turtle because I kind of want Turtle to die. Because if it does, uh, when he has a monster, I can use Bujin Carnation, which I just drew. And that's the better play than summoning Mikazuki. I already have Honest anyway. So you see that I drew another hit, uh, turtle. And if he didn't have Torrential Last Turn, he doesn't have it now. So I'm just going to keep attacking. And I'm not going to summon anything. I'm just going to keep attacking with these two until he proves to me that his back row aren't Light Imprisoning Mirrors or, you know, uh, Soul Drains or other crappy cards like that. Now, I mean, he can have those, but none of those cards stop Honest. So I'm really not that concerned. He summoned Fire Fist Bear, and I'm like... Well, you don't have Tenki because if you had Tenki, you would have used it turn one. So at least I'm not going to get Tenkied. And I thought about this and I was like, okay, if you attack, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to honest. So um, I tell him I have no response. I was hoping he wouldn't mind crush honest <laughs> because if I had mind crush with him, I would I would put the whole game on mind crushing and honest. I say I want to go to damage step. I'm getting my honest uh, locked and loaded. I ask him if we can go to damage cow. He says, yes, um, I use Honest. He's going to take 1700 and then he just scoops it up. I guess he couldn't get over um, any of my guys. And then he told me after he PM'd me after the game, and he was like, did you side out all your back row? And I'm like, nope, I just don't really run that many traps. And he told me he drew uh, like 
three MSTs and two Goyoku. So yeah, Goyoku is not is not good against the version of Bujin that I run. If your opponent runs, you know, Phoenix Chains and Bottomless and Torrituals and stuff like that, it's good. But when I pretty much just run in Decree and Vanity's Emptiness, it, it's not really going to work against my deck. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, this was a pretty easy win, but I opened with uh, a really good hand game one, and he opened with a really bad hand game two. Thank you guys for watching, as always.